Yesterday, we told you about the retirement of Kent County's longtime lawman, Sheriff Larry Stelma. Tonight, 24 Hour News 8's Joe Lafergie sits down to talk with Stelma about his accomplishments, including the one that's not always associated with law enforcement. One of the things Sheriff Stelma's most proud of happens in an area of the jail just like this. It's called the God Pot, and it's helped drastically reduce recidivism rates here at the jail. Chaplain Sarah Heaton's pulpit is not in a place of worship, but in an activity room just like this in the women's section of the Kent County Jail. They come in here, they don't have any hope. They come in there in a very hopeless situation. Everything's in complete turmoil and uproar, and we can come in and bring a light into that darkness. And the jail sanctuary is known as God Pods. Established in 2007, God Pods were part of an existing faith-based program that were expanded under Larry Stelma's five terms as Kent County Sheriff. Sister. Stelma was looking for a way to address recidivism rates, a cost that extends well beyond the jail walls. There's another round of victims. There's another cost of investigation. And there's another cost for prosecution. Another cost for incarceration. The jail has a number of programs to help inmates better themselves through education, job training, and other skills. But if their attitudes about life, if their attitudes about their spouse and their families and their kids and their responsibility in the community haven't changed, it doesn't have much of an impact. All of these principles originally come from a uh, Judeo, Judeo, a Christian Judeo basis, the principles of life that our country and most citizens across the world uh, adhere to as, you know, why you don't victimize people, why you don't steal, why you don't uh, assault people. The guidance doesn't end at the God Pod's doors. The program helps inmates transition out into the real world. Proof of success is not only in the souls healed, but in the number of return visits to the jail. In 10 years, recidivism rates at the Kent County Correctional Facility have dropped from the high 60s, which is a national average, to 27%. There are many, many fewer victims in our community because of this program, and um, the expense on tax dollars has been reduced amazingly. Sheriff Stelma's retirement becomes official on November 1st. The process to find his replacement begins in the next few weeks. In Grand Rapids, Joe Lafergie, 24 Hour News 8.